What's up everybody, I'm back. And with today's video, I want to talk about the NX is not being hyped by Nintendo. Which is really interesting uh, when you think about it. Nintendo is not hyping the Nintendo NX just yet. They're being very quiet about it. Uh, the information is hard to find. However, what we are hearing is third-party developers and publishers hyping the NX. This is something that has really never happened before uh, that I can remember for a console from Nintendo. With the Wii U, uh, you didn't have really much hype from developers uh, before it was released. You had a few uh, words here or there from certain third-party developers saying they had uh, difficulty with the CPU, or they said that the graphics were pretty good, it's a little bit better than Xbox 360. Uh, and But Nintendo themselves, they of course showed the Wii U at E3 2011, and they were hyping it up themselves. And then a year later, at E3 2012, they were hyping it up again, trying to communicate what the system was. Of course, not doing a very good job at it. And then recently, now we have Take-Two at E3. Uh, if you don't know, Take-Two is the publisher of Grand Theft Auto V, Borderlands, uh, Red Dead Redemption, and Bioshock. So back at E3, they were asked about the Nintendo NX and what they thought about it. Strauss Zelnick, he said, it could be very exciting. You never want to count Nintendo out. They go quiet for a while, and then they come to market and do something really exciting. We are very interested in watching closely the development of what Nintendo plans to do next. So this is what they said over a month ago at E3. And today we have another interview with the same CEO from Take Two. This time it was done by Games Industry. They interviewed Strauss Zelnick yet again and asked him about the Nintendo NX. And he says, we're believers. We never want to count Nintendo out. They do it over and over again. So we feel pretty enthusiastic, actually. And then in remarks concerning Nintendo's position currently in the console race, being, of course, third place, he says, no, it's not a slump. It's intentional. They come to the market, they do really well, and then they sort of exit the market for a period of time. They've been doing that for like 150 years, he says. And that company has been doing the same thing. They're really thoughtful, they come to market with something they really think is going to work, or often than not, it really works. It blows up and then they eventually let it decline and move on to the next thing. They don't mind having time in between, is what he says. So here's twice from Take Two Interactive saying that they are excited, first of all, and about the Nintendo NX, and now they're saying they're believers in it. And this is a little bit different than what they said about the Wii U. Now, people were, had some confusion about what they said about the Wii U. They did say initially that they were excited about it. I'll read what they said five years ago back in 2011. Uh, this is posted from Game Rant back in 2011 after Nintendo showed the Wii U. And this information was said by Take-Two's executive VP CEO Carl Slatoff. He said, it is an HD platform that has the processing power to develop a compelling AAA experience. If it takes hold of the market, that is good for us. So from that perspective, we are very excited about that. And then he went on to say, We are not a big believer in straight ports in general. For us, it is more about developing for the specific capability of each machine. We focus on what the platform brings to bear. For us, if you are really going to do a good job, look at the platform itself, analyze the capabilities, and develop your game to take advantage of those capabilities. And that is the best way to address that audience. So that was back in 2011, and basically what he was talking about was that the Wii U was an HD pl uh, platform that had processing power that could possibly take advantage of their experiences, but they didn't want to do a straight port uh, to the system. Now, then fast forward to 2014 in February, just a few months after the Wii U was released, they changed their tune. This time the interview is with CEO Strauss Zelnick, and he has a completely different tone now just a couple months after the Wii U was released, like not even time to get any hold on the market. He said concerning the Wii U, he said, our strategy is to meet consumers where they are. If they're buying hardware, we'll be there with software. That said, we make these really big AAA titles that work on some platforms, but not others, referring to the Wii U. So this was just a couple months after the system was released. So they had no intention to release anything on that platform at all. So here we are, what, less than eight months or eight months or so from the NX release, and now they're saying twice, the same CEO of Take Two of these positive things about the NX and how they really believe in it and they're excited for it this time. So I think it's a much different outlook this time for the NX because we are much closer to launch of the system than they were back when they said those positive things about the Wii U in 2011, over a year before the system came out. 
here we are just eight months or so before the NX comes out and they're already saying these things about it. Plus we have other developers, third parties saying positive things about it as well. Which again brings me back to the point that Nintendo themselves are not hyping the NX yet. And this is before we're hearing anything about the NX in general. So do you really think the publisher of Grand Theft Auto V, Red Dead Redemption, Bioshock, and Borderlands are going to be excited about a system that maybe has Xbox One specs, you know, five years old and a crazy wacky gimmick, you know, to sell it? I really think not, because that's exactly what the Wii U was doing. It was a older spec console with a high priced gimmick. So I think it's highly, highly unlikely third party would be on board this early with the NX saying these things, hinting at these things that they're really positive on it and believe in it this much even before Nintendo even says anything. I think it's a really good sign that this system will be powerful, competitive, and have the architecture that the third parties want to put their games on. Take Two doesn't mess around with their you know, releases, you know, they would have had to really mess around a lot with the Wii U to get anything to work on it for the games that they wanted and they didn't want to port anything either. So with the NX I think it's looking really great that uh, we're hearing these things from third parties, especially it's really really great to hear something like this from Take Two because they have never been a big supporter of Nintendo consoles that I can remember. Obviously the GameCube never had Grand Theft Auto. And of course the Wii never did, the Wii U didn't have anything either. So this is a good sign that we may see something from Take-Two and that the system is powerful enough to run these games and is not going to be weighed down by some crazy gimmick. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Is this good news? Uh, are you excited about this? And if you enjoyed this video guys, hit that like button, subscribe, and send me a comment. And I'll talk to you very soon in the next video. Take care.